Hi, all Rob Cairns here. I'm the CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at Stunning Digital Marketing. We are living in interesting times. The COVID-19 virus is spreading, real, and causing havoc in the world. In today's episode, we'll talk about some news, COVID-19 related and not COVID-19 related, and then we'll move on to this week's episode entitled COVID-19, How to Pass the Time. Now, on to the news. This week's news stories, COVID-19. Ontario, where I live, is shut down for all entertainment services and we've limited social gatherings for those over 50 people. We've also limited many store hours, often done voluntary by the retail chains. Keep that in mind when we're going out. We're actually under a state of emergency. If you're looking for some COVID-19 information, Please go to reputable news sources and government sites to get the information. There's a lot of false news being spread on social media and be careful not to fall into that trap. Um, LinkedIn has made work at home courses free during COVID-19 crisis via LinkedIn Learning, so check that out. And finally, the WWE has announced that WrestleMania will not take place in front of a live audience in Tampa, Florida. But alternatively, in the WWE Performance Center with just essential personnel, it will be available on the WWE Network and pay-per-view. And a non-COVID-19 story, France just hit Apple with a competition fine of $1.23 billion. Isn't that staggering? So that's it for the news this week. And on to this week's episode, how to cope during the COVID-19 outbreak and how to keep and how to keep busy. How to cope during the COVID-19 outbreak. Fortunately, I'm in business for myself and I can work at home. Tools like Zoom, Google Drive, and email have let me keep going and many others. During SARS, the tools were not as robust as they are now. Today, I can run my business 100% from my home office. This is where I normally work. Now, the first thing is, if you don't have to go out, don't go out at this point in time. You're better off at home. Take the time, spend it with your family at home. This does not mean you should have a large gathering. The Center for Disease Control suggested that we just limit gatherings to under 50 people. Please fall and do that. And even many retail chains are already doing that. I was by my local No Frills today, which is a grocery store chain in Ontario, and they will only let 50 people in the store. So good on them. Now, with us all spending more time at home, the big question is, what do we do? In my case, I have projects on the go, so I continue to work. My big problem right now is I use sports as a diversion at night for a break. But with no sports, I'm listening to more podcasts and watching more videos and using this as an education to advance my business and my life. This is all, frankly, beyond my control, so I might as well treat it as an opportunity, an opportunity to learn and keep up to date. I've also done some business planning in the last few days, so I'm ready to go. It is a good time to evaluate and plan for the future. I've watched a little online streaming, but I'm normally not one much for binge-watching. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking some you time. Just make sure you sleep well and eat well, Be kind to those around you. People need you more now than ever. I should say in families where there's issues at home, I actually think those issues will blow up in the next couple of weeks as people are confined to tight spaces. I really think um, we're going to end up in crises with families who are dysfunctional and frankly domestic violence cases at home because those usually get worse. So if somebody comes to you for help, be prepared to help them and be prepared to help those around you. Please keep that in mind. Maybe try reading a bit during this tough time. I often find a good book helps deviate from the rest of the world. I often get lost in good fiction books and try it. Now, before I go further, one thing I would suggest is get yourself and your family on a schedule. We all do better with schedules, especially kids. And I know in my business, if I have a schedule laid out in my scheduler, I do much better working-wise. So keep that in mind. Get your family on a schedule and work with them. 
one thing I'll say is if you have kids at home, spend time with them. This is a time you can't time you'll never get back and an opportunity you should take. Take the time to strengthen the relationship with the kids and the family. If your kids ask questions about COVID-19, please try and inform them properly and accurately and keep them informed. This way they'll be able to understand some of what's going on and why we're doing things out in the world. One thing I would suggest is do not spend all day watching the news channel. This is not good for your mental health and you need to take care of your mental health as much as your physical health. I would limit it the same way I limit checking my email during the day. It's okay to be informed, but overload is not a good thing. That said, keep yourself informed so you may make educated decisions. Now, along with the news channel, that includes websites, and by the way, news apps like Google News or Microsoft News, which I use, but I really don't uh, spend a lot of time looking at them. And something I really want to talk about is, if you know people over 65, my mom's 75, she's staying home. She's been really smart about this. Uh, please help the elderly. Check in on your family, your loved ones. Make sure they're okay. I mean, and tell them you love them and you're thinking about them. As always, please be safe and be well. This is Rob Karen, CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at StunningDigitalMarketing.com. To follow me on Twitter, please go to at Rob Cairns. For more digital marketing information, please visit our website at StunningDigitalMarketing.com. While you're there, scroll down to the bottom of the front page and sign up for a newsletter to get tips, tricks to your inbox on a daily or on a weekly or a bi-weekly basis. As always, the podcast is dedicated to my late father, Bruce Cairns. Dad, I miss you very much. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. Make your business succeed. And most of all, tell the people around you who love them. I love you all and take care of yourselves.